Time to round up one of the big political topics of the week. President Obama has laid out education reform that would help millions, but he's facing serious criticism. The president's plan is to get more people a higher degree. And get this, you wouldn't have to pay a single dollar. To qualify for two free years of community college, you must maintain a C average. You might be thinking, what's the catch? Well, the government claims they'll pick up most of the tab and states will pay the rest. Not only are Republicans seeking more details on the president's plan, so are the states, which are supposed to fit part of the bill. So that's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to use the hashtag fox 26 for life Joining us live in the newsroom is our Roundup panel. It's led by our senior Fox 26 legal analyst, Chris Tritico. All right, Chris, uh, do you think this is a good idea? Well, Sounds I think in, good. Yeah, in theory, I think it's a great idea to get young people into college, get them started. The, the, and the, the practical part of it is I don't think that this Congress is ever going to pass a spending bill of this size without having some way to make up the money. And I don't know that, that they're going to be able to do that. And I think states like Texas are going to be saying we're not spending the money. And so I, I think it's, it's a good idea in, in theory. I just don't think that it, in practica, practically I don't think it's going to make it through this Congress. Um, the, let me address some of the heat that the president's taken. He, he gave a 20-minute speech and, and, and laid this out. And the Republicans said you didn't give enough details. Well, it was a 20-minute speech. Uh, give him a chance <laughs> to, to lay it out. But I, let's, we'll have to wait and see where this thing goes. But I, I, I think it's got a slim chance uh, of success right now. Introduce our panel, Mustafa Tamiz, our political analyst, Jackie Bally, public policy analyst. You know, the president, I think in theory, this is a really good idea to get young people into college and give them a good leg up and get started. I don't see it going through this Congress. Yeah, I don't think anyone's disagreeing with that. The concept <coughs> of getting our young people on a positive note, getting them started through school, everyone agrees with that concept. I think the criticism is not you didn't give enough details during your speech. Uh, no one expects to get the details in a speech, but I think let's get some details from your administration, which we're not getting right now. That doesn't mean they're not working on it. I think we have to wait and see exactly what this entails. Uh, some of the things that we're saying is, is hearing is that there's going to be a, a large amount of money given to students. I personally would like to see it based on need. There are some students who are going to be applying for this or who are be get, getting this, and they could probably afford to go to a four-year uh, institution versus other students who probably would not be able to. So I would like to see it based on some kind of need. Maybe they're going to implement that. So we have to wait and see exactly what he's talking about. Again, I concur with your comments about the large amount of dollars that are involved. Uh, a lot of states are going to balk at that because how are they going to come up right. with that do dollar amount? And let's go to that right now. I, I, you know, I, as I recall, it was up to a third that the states would have to pick up of this tuition. Mm -hmm. I don't see the Texas legislature going along with that. Well, f first let's talk about cost. I mean, it's a $60 billion over 10 years. That's $6 billion a year. In the two wars that we fought, we were spending a billion to two billion dollars on a monthly basis. So when you talk about six billion in the federal budget and state's budget, it is not that much. And if we're going to try to bridge the gap between the rich and the poor, if we're going to give people a hand up, not a handout, then you begin with education. And that's what the president's saying, that the demands of the workforce no longer end at high school, that you need a minimum of two years of college, and he's providing a way. So rather than gathering around trying to figure it out, you have people throwing rocks. Are you agreeing with Jackie then that it ought to be based on need and not just anyone go? Well, most of it is, a lot of these things will be on need, but to, to me at this point, the program makes a lot of sense. So rather than trying to poke holes at it, what we should figure out is how do we support how do we do it? it? Okay, let me go to Sally, she's monitoring our social media. This on Facebook says, I think it's a great idea, but will we be able to receive financial aid? Good question. Oh, let's take a look at Twitter as well. This person says, if going to community college for free gets approved, hey, I'd go back to school real quick. And then as we take a look at another tweet, not sure if we can pull those up on the screen there or not, but Andy says that he thinks President Obama has totally lost it, thinking free college is going to solve anything, much less work. And he has free, he has three degrees, he says. And then another guy says, free tuition at a community college college for a 2.5 GPA. I'm sorry, but that's pathetic, he says. What do you think about that 2.5 GPA? A lot of people criticizing that. Well, you know, there's a lot of people out there, maybe me included, that thought a C average was a pretty good deal. <laughs> you know, you get, you got to set standards somewhere, Sally, and, and, and that's something that can be tweaked. But if the idea is to include people into this program and get as many people into college as we can, then 
passing grades are passing grades, Jackie. Bell. Well, you know, a, a lot of people are con are complaining about that 2.5 and saying it's too high because a lot of financial aid, is, you just need a 2.0. Believe it or not, I mean, I personally would have a problem if my boys had a 2.5 GPA, but I digress. I think <laughs> we're not really poking holes at uh, what the president is saying. Again, we're just waiting to get more confirmation, more information, because this is a lot of a, a large dollar amount. He's correct. The dollar amount uh, percentage wise from the whole budget, yes, it is not that large, but it is an, an amount that is unexpected that we have to find out. And we've seen other laws and policies coming from the president that wasn't quite well thought out. So we want to make sure we get all the facts before we really buy into it. Final thought. This is one of the most important things we can do as Americans, because if the, if the divide between the rich and poor, if we want that to end, it's going to end through education. What the president's talking about is meager dollars and an investment in our community that we have to make. All right, we're going to leave it right there. We'll be back in a little while with another really good topic.